Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Tech Talk and Tech Unbox. In today's video, we will check about the wireless meshing in Ubiquiti Access Point. So, we will see how you can create a wireless meshing and what are the advantages and the disadvantages of the wireless meshing. I have an access point of the Ubiquiti as you can check here. These two access points, I will create a wireless meshing. One of the access points will be wired, another I will connect as a wireless. So let's get started. These two access points are connected and they are both factory reset. As you can see the LED on both. This access point is white and for this UAP AC Pro, if you look closely, it's also factory reset and the LED is white. So what we'll do, we'll first adopt these two access points on the controller and this will be the wired and this will be connect as a wireless mesh uplink we will check under the controller so we'll first adopt them wired and then we have to unplug the LAN cable from and power it with the PoE injector so this uh, UK Ultra will be wired and it will provide a mesh uplink to the UAP AC Pro which just powered using PoE injector so both the uh, access point UAP AC Pro and the UK Alta access point are uh, factory reset and they are connected again. So you can see here they both show up on the controller as pending adoption. So please go ahead and click to adopt both the access point. Once they are adopted, I will let UK Alta connect directly to the switch. And I will, uh, for the UAP AC Pro, I will remove it uh, from the PoE switch and power the PoE injector. And then it should connect by a mesh. Before uh, doing a meshing, you have to enable meshing under the settings, system, advanced when you scroll down, you have to enable these options while that's meshing. So you can see in the iPod and you can check what the meshing does. It allows the APs to connect wirelessly with one another to extend Wi Fi coverage. So after uh, both the access points are adopted and under each access point, you can go and check under the settings also the meshing should be enabled so for, for the UAP AC Pro it is adopted and the UK Alta is getting ready so to do a meshing first you have to adopt both access points through wire and then once they are adopted you have to enable meshing and enable meshing is also uh, done on both access points and then you have to uh, remove the one of the access points which you want to connect as a wireless you have to un remove from the PoE switch and powering the PoE injector. So right now, I will remove the UK, I mean, I will keep the UK drive directly powered to the PoE switch as you can see here. And I will remove the, the UAP switch from the PoE switch and power the PoE injector. So I will go ahead and remove the cable and let it keep powering to the PoE injector. So right now I have removed the cable from the UAP AC Pro access point and the UTL touch semi connector. So we refresh the screen and let's see if the UAP AC Pro connect as a mesh or not. So you can see the status got changed. It is connected to a mesh. So right now it is connecting to the U6 light as a mesh. Uh, and under the settings, we can check the signal assessment right now. It is set to auto. And if we check to manual, and we can check the signal strength here. And if you want, we can use the UK Ultra as a meshing. I mean, the wired uplink. So we can choose between both the access point. You can see the signal strength. So also, the meshing created between the access point is all only on the 5 gigahertz band so both ap should enable 5 gigahertz band the meshing won't work on the 2.4 gigahertz so we, so so there are advantages and disadvantages as, as i was talking about so advantage is basically uh where you don't have a LAN cable feasible so in that scenario you can connect the access point uh, first uh, adopt the access point as a wire and then you can disconnect from the 
uh, network and power the PoE injector and it will connect SMS to your uh, Wi-Fi card which will extend it when it is Ethernet cable. And the other thing like the disadvantage for this scenario is like uh, if uh, like if you're connected uh, via mess, the speed will be dropped down uh, by 50% as your wired AP. So for example, if you're connected to the SSID and you're connected to the UK Ultra access point, you will get full speed. I mean the up to speed, uh, for example, if your speed is 100 Mbps and you get up to 90 Mbps on your Wi-Fi speed or uh, 200 or anything. So in the UAP signal, which is via mesh, and you connect to the mesh access point, the speed will be reduced so 50 percent. So that will be almost like uh, 50 to 40 Mbps. So per of speeds get reduced by 50 percent. So that's the only disadvantage you get with the meshing. And other scenarios is like uh, if you don't have uh, any uh, meshing. Uh, I mean, all that APPs are connected via switch and powering the switch. So you should disable that while this meshing option because that can cause a Wi-Fi connectivity issues. So we have seen that the meshing, how meshing works in the ubiquity. Now we try to connect to the SSID and check the speed on the wired access point as well as the meshing access point. What difference do you get?